Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we did a, a um, program where you were able to use Vulkan in order to enumerate the physical devices on your system. And was using this uh, function right here, the Vulkan enumerate physical devices and this is very helpful because in order before you you know the properties of the physical devices you have to enumerate them first so now we're going to take it a, a, a step further and i'm not only going to enumerate the physical devices but we're going to find out properties about those physical devices and when i talk about physical devices in this case is a gpu but remember that uh, there are physical devices and there are logical devices. Right now, we're only dealing with physical devices. Um, and this is uh, from the programming Vulcan programming guide. I'm taking some of his code and tweaking it to make it do what we want to do. But basically, most of the properties are found for physical device properties are found in this truck right here. And as you can see, there's API version, driver version, vendor ID, device ID, device name. This is char, so it's, it's, it's a char or car, if you want to call it. And it's a uh, human readable, so you're going to see the name. And the other ones are just, you know, uh, basically not, not very interesting for our purposes right now. Maybe later, yes. But basically, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to... Uh, create layers, how to enumerate physical devices like we did in the last tutorial, but then find doubt about the properties of those physical devices. So basically, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is include the standard I.O., the Vulkan uh, header file. As you can see, these are C. I'm not using C++. These are basically the C header. Uh, here I'm creating, just checking for failure and making sure it's successful. So it's fail or success. Um, continue. Here, this is the main function. But before we go deep, dig into that one, let's go to the main. Because if I just start talking about this, it's not going to make very much sense. So this is your entry point here. This is your main. Uh, just like in the last tutorial, we're creating the result, Vulcan result, creating an app info, named app info, struct. And then we are adding S type to it, and we're also adding the API version. Here, we're creating the Vulcan's instance create info, and it's named create info. And we're also giving a DS type, the structure type, and the P application info, which is this name right here. So I'll put that pointer right here. Continue. Here, this is your first layer. This is uh, one of the Lunar G layers that you can find. There are many layers, but this one is, is, is one of the, it's called the standard validation and it's widely used. Uh, here, the way we're doing it is if define debug constant char, debug layers, give the name of the layer, and then create info, pp enable layer names. That's one also of the, if we go back here, let me, tell, let me show you where this is coming from because it's very easy to get. These two right here are coming from right here create info and it's right here you see them there it's the enable layer count and the pp enable layer names you are also going to use extension count and enable extension names so you know where they're coming from they're coming from that struct right here this is your app in info struct i don't want you to get lost it's very easy to get lost and uh, let's continue so let's keep going down the program into the entry point, the main function. And here, this is the constant car. 
extensions, Kansanchara extensions. And this is the Vulcan surface extension name. This is probably the first time, uh, I think we never created our surface before, but this is what it is. And basically, same thing again. Using the create info, uh, in struct, and then getting PP enable extension names, and then we equal that to the what we're looking for, as you can see it right here, and we do the same for the enable extension count, and uh, so it relates to this guy right here. We continue going down, Vulcan instance. We create the instance. We check for failure and using this one actually you can put Vulcan check result equals result like we did in this last tutorial we're skipping that and just going right into it and basically is to create the instance which is the create info from this guy and then the instance now from the last tutorial physical devices we're creating it and saying look for 10 and then uh, on signing integer 32 physical device count because it's going to be a number and then here we check for result and we do the Vulcan enumerate physical devices that we did in the last tutorial this is going to give us how many physical devices are connected we continue going down the code here, uh, where am I? Uh, there, and then here, Vulcan physical device, the name physical device, pick a physical device, and then it's going to give you physical devices and the physical device count. Uh, make sure that there is a physical device. If not, it's going to fail. And check the result again. Again, making sure that the instance has been created, and then we destroy the instance. This is the main function, the entry point. But this is where the everything is taking place. Is this guy right here? Vulcan physical device. Pick physical device. That's the one that we got. That just I just show you. But here's the pointer. Physical devices and physical device count so these are the three parameters and it's going to look for them through that physical device count that i just show you down here physical device count physical device count is going through here okay and making sure these are all your physical devices. So it's just going to go, it's a little loop that's going to go through it. And let me continue here. And then it's going to get the Vulcan physical device properties, Vulcan get physical device properties, and it's going to go into this truck right here. And it's going to look for these device properties. Okay, and continue. Then if, if properties device type, if you found one, tell me the device name, tell me the device ID, and tell me the vendor ID. Then if it's greater than zero, give me the properties. I only have one, so it's only it's gonna automatically go into here. And if you didn't if we found another one, the default GPU, just give me that. Then printf, no physical devices were found if you didn't find anything, and then return the handle. And I think that's everything for that function. Yep. So now we're going to run it. I'm going to include this in my GitHub page, so you don't have to panic if you didn't get it all at this time. But I'm going down one more time to give you an opportunity to uh, to follow along, or if you want to copy it from my screen, you can. And we continue going up to the main. This uh, the physical device function, and to the top of the of the file. So now let's run it. 
let's close this one let's say yes i'm going to use what uh let me clear these and i'm going to show you the cmake file that i'm using because uh that can be a problem if you don't have the right cmake or if or make file so let's list it and let's see make actually let me let me remove everything so you see it being created and then i have cmake and cmake and let's remove the make file. So I wanted you to see and the executable. And I nano vendor. Oops, wrong one. Nano C make. And this is your text file. Very small. I think I'd show you how to use this in the first tutorial, the second tutorial. I've been lazy, so I, let, I left the name here. Let's do let's do a project uh, properties. Vulcan require find the package. Find that is not requiring this one, but I'm gonna leave it for now. At the executable, I'm gonna call it properties let's initialize it properties and then properties and then properties it, it also gives you a chance to uh, copy what I have on my CMake if you don't have the right CMake it can become a nightmare. Um, I mean the proper uh, cmake list that text file or the make file if you're using make file you gotta make sure that you have it this right way and that you're telling it where to find the Vulcan libraries it can become a real nightmare and that's it here I'm just giving it the math and glfw i mean uh, i was using windows before i'm not using that one anymore so we can just close it and let's do cmake and hope that everything now as you can see there's nothing there it's only the cmake list that text this is another file that i was using before and your vendor identification.cpp so now i'm going to run it so i'm going to do cmake now it's going to compile make sure that it found everything um, big thing here is that it found uh where is it i, I don't see it and now let's do make well I found the compiler of course it's the C compiler because we're using C and then let's do make and then there it is it built it linked it and then it's good so it created a, a properties so let's execute and this is what you get you have a GPU Quadro KC20. That's exactly what I have. The device ID of this GPU is 5051. And the vendor ID of this GPU is 4318. So here we go into the NVIDIA appendix with all of the supported GPU products. And we look for, we look for the Quadro. And there's a lot of them. So we look for Quadro, and there it is. Quadro K620 is 13BB, that's hex. So we go to hex, and we go 13BB, convert, and it's 5051. That's the right, the right one.
We do the same to find the vendor ID of NVIDIA. We go here, and the vendor ID for NVIDIA is 10DE. So we copy, make sure, 10DE, whoops. Uh, there we go, paste, 10DE, convert. So it's 4318. And that's the one right there, 4318. So you know that you that it's working the way you want it to work. It gave you the, the device name. It gave you the vendor ID. And it also gave you the device ID for that, uh, for that device. But uh, as you can see, this is a very powerful um, command. And you can, it can become very handy in your applications. And as we move on using the Vulkan API. But this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Have a great day.